Sadly, too many children believe the world is a dangerous place, that adults hurt kids, that adults cannot be trusted, and then they feel worthless. But La Familia gets abused and neglected children into healthy, safe homes where they can thrive and develop their potential. I'm happy to say that Joanna Warner and Michelle Irving are with La Familia and join us this morning. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you for everybody out there for all that you do. It's it's a wonderful thing you're doing. And so tell, tell us first a little bit about the children that you serve? Well, Treatment Foster Care is a Medicaid funded behavioral health service. Okay. And the children that are referred to us are, they come to us because they are not able to be successful in their living environment. Sometimes that's their adoptive family, sometimes that's their birth family, mm. and oftentimes it's, it's regular foster care. Wow. The kids, um, more times than not, have been severely traumatized and abused and neglected. And um, because of that, they've they learn coping skills that are really maladaptive. Mm. They learn, as you said, they, um, they've learned not to trust adults. Right. Um, they've learned some very basic beliefs about the world and about themselves and about adults. And that is that adults hurt people, they're unpredictable, right. and, and they leave. And then what really upsets me about that is that in turn they start to believe that when they become adults then that's just behavior, that's how they should be. So by catching this earlier on, then they learn better patterns for their own lives in the Absolutely. future, right? Absolutely. We want these kids to learn how to have relationships in yeah. a family. We, our goal is for them to be able to live in a family successfully and really derive joy in those relationships. Yeah. Right now, um, when they come to us, they, they don't know how to do that. They, they believe that they are unlovable mm. and unable to be loved. And, that, and they believe they'll just be moved on in a short period of time. And so that's why therapeutic foster parents are so yeah. important because they'll stick with it. They'll stick with the tough behaviors and, and see that child through t to get through the hard stuff until they are able to learn wow. how to trust. And it does, it takes time. It does take time, but it's it so important. Time. So tell us a little bit about treatment foster care and how it all works, because obviously we know what the goal is, but how does it actually work? Well, we, uh, we train and license and reimburse treatment families to take care of these kids. Oh, that's great. Um, they, the treatment parents are a part of a multidisciplinary team. Okay. And so so we take it really seriously that we want to provide support for those families. They're doing really tough work. Mm -hmm. um, we train them on an ongoing basis beyond okay. just the pre-service, um, really intensive training that they receive. Wow, um, that's they, wonderful. Yeah, they have a treatment coordinator assigned for each child that's in the home um, so now working once, with them. Once they're in the home, Michelle, what are some of the responsibilities of the foster parent? So basically what we do is everything that a regular parent would do for their child. Okay. And I think that outlook is the most vital, mm. is you love them, you know, unconditionally, yeah. and you're there. Um, so it can go from appointments. We do uh, doctor's appointments, scheduled appointments with La Familia. Nice. And um, basically through any crisis, um, for example, if um, one of our treatment children are going through a crisis, uh -huh. our most... I think the priority in being a TFC parent is being there and being available mm -hmm. and just saying, you know, this child is needs me right now. You're and not, it can, they're not alone. Yeah, they're not alone. And, mm -hmm. and that's the most important thing is because they feel that way. Yeah. They really, really do. And um, it can it can look like, you know, maybe their biological parent didn't show up for, you know, a visit today. And it right. can look like I just need to be there to, to help them, you know, get dressed or, sure. you know, get ready for the evening or and um, just really interacting with them. It's the simple things a lot of other kids take for granted. So I'm curious who would be a good fit for something like this? Well, you know, the treatment foster parenting is not for everyone. Right. Um, it's a tough job. Sure. But there's, there are some characteristics that, that um, help create strong treatment parents. And okay. some of those things are, um, Really just um, having the ability to have insight. Um, we all come with our stuff. We all have histories. When you're, yes. when you're parenting a traumatized child, your stuff gets triggered. It, yeah. it comes yeah, up. And so treatment parents have to be really on top of that. Sometimes they'll get their own therapy. But we just ask them mm -hmm. to be really um, introspective and self-aware well, um, uh, of all of the di dynamics so that they can point. be a really solid person for that child. We want them to be flexible. We want them to really understand and believe that they need to do it different. Okay. We never punish our kids. Um, it's, it's sort of a, an opposite kind of yeah. a parenting style because 
you know, with, with our children who are maybe, you know, securely attached and mm -hmm. safe, we will, um, you know, send them to their room if they've right. misbehaved. With our kids, we don't do that. There's never a separation. More yeah. We bring them close. We yeah. say, come close to me and, and I'm going to help you. And I like what Michelle said about unconditional because that's what they need and they need to understand that there is such thing as unconditional love. And so if someone wants to begin this process of being coming a treatment foster parent and they say, I want it, this is for me, what would you recommend they do? The, the first step is just um, give us a call. Okay. Um, we have a website and um, you can you can look on that as well just okay. to get some more information. But we'll, we'll meet with you. We will... Um, talk with you about if this is a good match for you, if you're a good match for our program at La Familia Namaste, we really want to help families be successful. Yeah. And so the next steps would be, you know, to start the training process. And how's, been, how's the success story been so far? Well, you know, we measure success on being able to help a child successfully discharge. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, we hope it into an adoptive family, which is the permanency plan for most of our yes. kids. Um, sometimes they're returning to an adoptive or a birth family. Okay. Um, and so, you know, know being able to give everybody the skills um, that they need to help these children move on yeah. um, is is a successive measure for us absolutely well I just have to say thank you again so much for what you're doing so important get those kids on the right track and teach them that they can love and they can be loved and they deserve love above yes, all else absolutely. so thank you Definitely. both so much thank really you. We appreciate you being here thank and you. a new adventure is only a page away details are coming up next on New Mexico style Success.